So I'm 15 years old and I just found out about self-improvement. You know, I'm learning all these different new things. You now I'm trying to have cold showers. I'm trying to meditate. I'm trying to know that. I'm trying all these different things. And I'm just surprised at how better my life has become so quickly. But after a couple of months of doing all these things, I, I was a little bit bored. It felt like, it felt like all of the information I was being given from the self-improvement YouTubers, it felt like it was just surface level. It felt like once I learned the basics of each and everything, it felt like there was there just wasn't anything more to it. And I started doing research because I wanted to learn more. Sure, the surface level stuff, it will still help you out a fuck ton, but I wanted more. <laughs> that that was this, this sort of toxic mindset I had since, <laughs> since I was a little kid. I always wanted more and more and more. I, I wanted to know like, how this shit actually worked. I wanted to know like, <laughs> more. <laughs> what, is, what else is there to say? And I started doing research. I started digging on my fucking computer for hours on end until I realized, wait, most of these self-improvement YouTubers... Most of the ideas for their videos are taken from books. Back when, back when the topic of self-improvement was kind of new to YouTube, all these guys would do, they would just grab a book, find an idea from it, and make it into a video, and it was easy content. So I thought to myself, if that's where all these guys are getting the information from, why, sh why should I try and do that myself? That's exactly what I did. And the beauty about self-improvement books is literally every single like sub-niche of self-improvement, that's what I'm going to call it, every single like constraint of self-improvement, every little like semi-task, there are at least 20 books about it. You can start from literally any point you want and get so much fucking information. That's the beauty about books. Because when you watch a 10-minute YouTube video about something, Sure, you'll learn. You, you'll learn a lot, but <laughs> compare that to a 300-page book. I don't want to show them just yet, but... And don't even get me started on the 30-second YouTube short, but that doesn't matter. That's not the point of the video. So I sat there and I thought, which, what topic of a book should I order first? And <laughs> guess what? When I was 15, I already had on a side hustle online before YouTube. Before YouTube, I was already making money online from freelance. You know, I used to be very into 3D graphics. So, you know, Blender, uh, fucking uh, 3D movies, all that stuff. I found it pretty cool. <laughs> and I found it cool enough to a point that when I was 14, I actually started learning how to 3D animate. 3D animate, how to make 3D models in the first place, how to like do all these different fun things in 3D. And I used to find that genuinely fucking cool. So I thought, hmm, I want to make more money from that. Because well, I didn't knew that freelancing was actually a fucking, <laughs> a dog shit side hustle. At least in my opinion. It was a dog shit side hustle because <laughs> your pay was tiny. I remember I used to make like from 10 to sometimes $30 if I was lucky. So you know what was the first book <laughs> I bought? I bought a book about money. And the first book that I bought... A lot of people say it's outdated because it was written like ages ago, but I genuinely like this one. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This is a, this book is this all this time, <laughs> but I read it the first time I read it. I learned so fucking much, bro. Make money work for you. Don't work for money. Yo, what the fuck? And I was uh, like, I was, my mind was blown with the amount of information I was actually given. I mean, of course, this is the first book I've ever read, <laughs> willingly. I had books at school, of course, but it was the first time I actually wanted to read a book on my own. And of course, I didn't apply everything it taught me back then. But the things that I actually applied, bro, I went from making, what, $20 on a good day, <laughs> $30 max if I got very lucky, to making from $30 to, to over $100 per commission, bro. This, I mean, this pay wasn't, it was nice for a teenager, but it wasn't amazing for, you know, where you see all the, <laughs> where you would see all the guys online make, you would see a 14 year old kid making a fucking $5,000 online in a, one day, in three hours. And you were just like, hey, yo, how the fuck is he doing that? Back then, I didn't knew that YouTube was the best option. And I just kept doing the thing I liked until I got bored. 
Jones. <laughs> Guess what? I actually got bored from doing that thing. But that's his own thing. But I was amazed at how fucking good books were and how much I actually learned from that shit. So I thought to myself, okay, what is the other thing that I know nothing about? What is the other thing that I'm like absolutely trash? Social skills. <laughs> See, when I was a little kid, I knew I loved teaching. Like, if I had to explain something to, like, my younger cousin or some shit, I would do it perfectly. He would know exactly how to do that thing. But you know what the catch was? As I started growing up and I started going to high school and all these new places, you know, I grew a little bit of social anxiety. I became a little bit shy, simply. That's, that's the best way to put it. And I wanted to regain my confidence that I used to have as a child. Because I knew it was deep down. I knew it was still down there. I was just conditioned by my surroundings to be like, mm. <laughs> super shy, you know, sit with your legs crossed and uh, don't, don't man spread because, you know, just, just squeezing your balls is good. Looking. <laughs> you know, they would, they, would, they would condition us men to act like little bitches. Therefore, our confidence was at an all time low. And I was a huge victim of this, bro. I know you're probably listening to me with a little bit of doubt because, you know, I still look like a 16-year-old. I don't have a... Just because I don't have a fucking beard and I don't, don't got a bus cut doesn't mean I'm, I don't know shit, right? I think you can use a little bit of your actual brain to think for a second. Just because I don't have a full fucking beard and a, and a bus cut and scars on my fucking face doesn't mean I don't... Doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that I don't know much about life. See, I still stutter. That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I'm still addicted to this, but I've made huge fucking progress. Bro, like, I went from being too afraid to ask the teacher to go to the fucking bathroom because I was this fucking scared to now making YouTube videos like thousands of people to come. At the time you're watching this video, it probably has like, what, 10 views? 10 views on a good day? <laughs> but just give me a couple of months and you'll see. And all I did, pretty much most of where my confidence skills came from, because you know, to get actual confidence, you know, I went to the gym, I went to martial arts, all that stuff, but... To actually like not be awkward in certain situations and understand what to do. These two books saved my life pretty much. This one is focused more on like general social skills. And this one's more like what to do when you're with a woman. Uh, the weight of the spirit, man. <laughs> I use that as an example, not as a download book. But you get the point. Wait, let me get them out of the way. Yoink. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. They're annoying me. But you get the point. These are three of the many, like, literally thousands books you could read online. <laughs> and it's so fun to me because you know what the teachers used to say? Your teachers in school, they would always tell you, oh, read books, they're full of knowledge. And guess what? They were fucking right. They were fucking right, but the books that you're reading at school are fucking stupid. Especially me, by the way. I'm from Poland, right? The depths of the Slavics. The town I live in has, like, fucking uh, 50,000 people. Most women over the age of 50 look like fucking babushkas you see on the internet people make fun of. Like the, the, the Russian grandmas people make fun of. They look the exact the same. That's the, that's the type of town I'm from. Really old school. Of course, teenagers are more westernized. That's normal nowadays because I fucking TikTok and shit. But <laughs> that's the type of place I'm from. And people here are very traditional. Like People from the age of 30 to like... Pretty much from the age of 30 or 40 to... <laughs> to death they're like very traditional it's only the young guys that are more westernized but you can imagine what type of books we used to read we didn't even have shakespeare by the way but we didn't even read the mainstream guys what we're doing at school in poland is we're reading these like fucking uh guys <laughs> people who are not poland would never <laughs> they have never heard of these guys fucking uh adam mitzkevich fucking uh henrik shenkevich all these guys you're probably listening to this and you're thinking what the fuck is this kid talking about? I know. I wish I knew myself. These are some fucking... I want to say random guys, but... <laughs> from a poetical standpoint, the books that they've made are... They're actually pretty good, I suppose. From a poetic standpoint. If you're into poetry, then you might like these, but... Most people fucking don't. <laughs> and we're made to read these books, which have like from... From 300, like 1,000 pages, literally. You know how fucking annoying it is to... Sit there and go through a book that you literally have to read. No, have to, cause uh, kids like me are from the air, from the internet. We can just look up uh, the description of the book on the internet, so we don't actually have to read it. But imagine if we actually did. 
Bro. What the fuck? <laughs> the times where you learn the most are the times where you actually want to go and learn yourself. This is why. This is why <laughs> you're probably sitting there thinking, uh, 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 I don't like reading books. You know why you don't like reading books? Because for most of your life, you were forced to read books. That's why you have this discomfort when you think of it. But I promise you, the times when you actually want to sit down and do it yourself, bro, this is actually pretty fucking fun. Like, genuinely. Dude, it's one of the few things that when you, you sit there, and because you actually want to do it, you're like downright focused. It's similar to journaling, where your brain just turns off and you're just fully focused on what you're doing. This is beautiful. This is beautiful because you're also gaining knowledge from this shit. Dude, comparing YouTube videos, short formats, mainly long formats as well, for the most part. Comparing YouTube to books. This is like a splash from a water gun compared to a whole fucking ocean, bro. And sure, you can find guys on YouTube like Andrew Huberman who make the, these three-hour podcasts or videos that actually give you full value. But <laughs> we live in an era where most people, they just want, they just want quick information. You know, teach me now. Uh, fucking, I want to have a six-pack now, bro. Have some fucking patience. Dude, they, some people, myself included, when I bought this first book, right? This, it's tiny, right? Uh, the, the original, it's not the original, read that for that. But this book on its own, it's fucking tiny. It's the size of my palm and like the width of what? First part of my finger, I guess. I thought I was going to blaze through it easy. Guess what? The first time I read it, it took me like two or even three months to get through it. And I was so fucking, sorry, I was so fucking pissed because I thought it was, was going to, I thought it was going to go down easy. And while I enjoyed reading it, after a week, I realized, I'm like, what, 50 pages in? I thought I was going to blaze through it. Probably less than 50, but you get the point. Nowadays, we, we're just so conditioned to fucking want to get something now. Give it to me now, fucking. Why can't it take just a little bit longer and have like five times the benefit? You don't need to watch a fucking 10-minute video for free, bro. Spend like $20 on a 300-page book that explains everything you fucking need. And you thank me later, bro. This is, this is revolutionary. I mean, I knew about this. <laughs> right now, I'm like, what? I'm, I'll, I'll turn 17 this year. So it's been, it's not been two years yet since I started reading. No, willingly. <laughs> Probably over a year, but. <sighs> this, this is a game changer, bro. There isn't really much else to it, man. I could recommend to you like a couple of books you'd like, but there's thousands, bro. You can literally look up on YouTube. Okay, no. best, best books for making money, best books for social skills, and you'll get some good results. Just don't, don't click on these bullshit stuff from the YouTube. You know the tops I'm talking about. The fucking copy and paste type of motherfuckers. I know I, I might seem like one to you right now because <laughs> this channel's got like, what, seven subscribers at the time I'm recording this shit. I might not seem credible to you yet, but just give me a couple months, I guess. I don't, I don't want to say weeks. I'm realistic. Give me a couple months and you'll see. But okay, I'm not going to feed you with the... Just you wait, just you wait. <laughs> but yeah, man, there isn't anything to it. If you like the way I talk, you can check out some of my other videos if you'd like. Fuck it. I'll see you in the next one, buddy. See you, bro.